Hello. Oh, there's the game. Hi, everyone. How are you? Are you hearing me all right? Things are bouncing. The music's not too loud, is it? The music's still happening, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. I can hear it. Uh, hi, everyone that's here. Let's play some Maracaibo. Oh, there's a lot of people in chat. Hi, everyone. So, yes, Maracaibo Digital came out just before Christmas. Bit of a delay on the stream, but hey, we are here now. And we're going to tackle some... Well, trading? Annexing? In the... Kind of Mediterranean. Not really Mediterranean at all, is it? Uh, but adjacent. You can hear me? Great. Hi, Jeff, Monica. You swam 3,000 meters and flew some of it. Wow. Hey, Janeway. Hey, Matt. Hey, Catherine. Uh, so, yes, I have been playing a bit of general solo in this. There, There is a great how to play audio if you are completely new to Maracaibo and this piques your interest, then uh, it will teach you how to play. You know, it is. You know, it, it's a it's a fairly meaty euro so you know it's it's not that quick a tutorial but you know it's uh, it's as quick as it can be I think and yeah it's a great refresher even though you know, it's not been that long since I learned it really uh, but we didn't really do I think when Rach and I played it together two player I think we did a, a, a chapter or something of the campaign that's built into it. Uh, but no more than that, and yeah, there's a whole campaign mode built in. There is a you can do the standard setup and all of that stuff for you know, if you just want a general game. But there is like a story involved, and like uh, the the setup changes based on what happens in those games. I believe ah uh, butterfly that makes more sense. Although try try flying it next time. See how far you get with flying. Uh, so yes, we are going to try the campaign mode. So I'm playing it. it, it's out for Android and iOS at the moment. I don't know if there's plans to bring it to Steam and places in the future. Uh, but for now, we are on an iPad and hopefully all of this works okay. So let's go on uh, campaign mode and we're playing against Gene. Do you think, oh, so the difficulty is set in. When you, when you play like a normal solo game against Gene, you set the difficulty yourself. And you can, you can play as well with a setup kind of based with some of the campaign things you can play like an intermediate uh, like a heavy setup so like you can decide to use some of that stuff but it does warn you you know this stuff's in the campaign you might not want to uh, you might not want to spoil yourself on it yet uh, so yeah let's let's start with oh I'm in a game in progress that's why that's there I was just testing out the settings so let's make me purple and should we do medium for Gene well, there's no online mode yet, no. Music can touch quieter. I can do that. It's hard to tell the 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 things are bouncing quite quietly. But it's not a good judge. Is that is that better on the music? It should it should be. Well that's loud now. Exactly, Robocop. If I get a if I get a chance. To call anyone anything, it's Peter Weller. Uh, so yes, let's let's go in save slot B then. Although really, my campaign game in C slot A shouldn't be anything. I don't think there's going to be a C serpent. I would be surprised, but hey, you never know. I would appreciate a sea serpent. We got one in uh, in Sleeping Gods, right? So the it sets up all the game for us and shows us you know the a lot of the city tiles are randomised. The first one isn't, and Maracaibo is always the same, I believe. Uh, so, I won't like give you a full rules thing. I did do a playthrough, by the way. It was a, a solo playthrough with like the standard setup that you can watch where I go through it all there. But I'll tell you what I'm doing in this as well. Uh, not that I'm some kind of Maracaibo expert, but here is uh, the story. You know, this is what the campaign is starting us with. Uh, so, a mysterious plague has broken out in Portobello and looters in the city have taken advantage of the emergency. Your first officer's sister, Gloria, lives there. She needs your protection continue. Uh, so this is now the setup of the game. So you have two career cards. They are objectives that you can complete for bonuses. Uh, you can do easier versions of them for the bonuses immediately, or you can hold out a little bit longer to get some points as well. And you get dealt all of these cards and you have to discard three of them. So I'll go through what every single one does, but in the, in the top right of each card, you can see a good that it can be traded in for. There are a lot of places around the map 
on the left hand side of their icon you can see that there is a good so there's corn on the left hand of the left hand side of port royal here uh, there's goods in my hand with corn on them that I could trade in at a place that wants corn and get some discs off my player board and unlock some more actions and things. Uh, underneath that, there is a tool that the card can be used as as well uh, because there are, if we can find them, there are quests hidden about. Ah, here we go. Bluefields here. This quest wants two telescopes. So trade in two cards with telescopes on them. That's some of the things you might be thinking about. There's also the cost on the cards. You don't start with that much money, so you might not want to keep a card that costs 16 if you're thinking of building it, because you can, you can pay that money to put the card out and give you some abilities. It might let you put some assistance out, and some of the spaces on the board become special actions just for you if you want to use them. Or they will improve your income or improve certain actions and things. So let's see, the, the two careers that I've got... They both want me to do quests, so that top line of each is do some quests, two or three or more. Uh, and then the tick with the, the gold circle with the tick is get do trading and things like that to get discs off your player board, unlocking extra actions and things. So do I want to do a lot of that? Oh, actually, they're just alternate, aren't they? So do I want to do more getting things off my player board? Thanks, Rach. Or do some more exploring. I do have... This Explorer card here, oh, I can light them up, uh, does give me a special ability where I can do some more exploring. That globe symbol there lets me do some nice exploring. The Quest Hunter will give me better rewards for going uh, exploring. Let's see. So there isn't there isn't a, a quest for ages, so we don't need to have the cards ready for that you know, just yet. We might want some corn for these pl if we decide to go to these places and trade in them. Might want to keep some tobacco for Santiago. Do I have tobacco? Yes, I do. So I might want to keep that Sailor. I want to keep one of the Explorers, definitely. I think I'm going to get rid of... I think I'm just going to get rid of these three. Mercenary, Innkeeper, Harbour. I'm going to keep that Explorer. Mercenary, Innkeeper, Harbour. Does that sound good? I'll keep hold of that Quest Hunter. Yeah, I only have to get rid of three. That seems like a good three to get rid of. And then plan a card. So planning, you've got three planning slots on your board. When you plan a card, it can't be used as like a good or a tool anymore. Uh, but it's saved on your card. It, can't, it won't get discarded for any reason. So, But the, the only way to get rid of it is to build the card. You can't change your mind later on. So I think one of these explorers... Yeah, let's do some exploring. I want to get that planned. And then... Let's see. Urge for Discovery or Valor. Well, they're, they're very similar. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I will go for... We're going to do a lot of exploring. Yeah, Urge for Discovery. Why not? Yeah, maybe Jack Sparrow will be one of the characters. Like, who knows what's in the campaign? I don't know yet. The musical all right now, yeah? Yes, great. Uh, so now, this is the... We're into the game now. This is your turn. So you can see all of these numbered spaces. All of the highlighted ones are the ones that I can move to. You can move one to seven spaces forward. And you see, the it's not necessarily seven numbers forward because the locations branch out. So I can get all the way to nine in one great big go here. So you might want to stop off at a city because you get to trade, as I said. Get discs off your player board. If you press the discs, it tells you your ship upgrades. So each one costs two. You can't do some of them until you've done a certain number. See, uh, some of the padlocked ones you can't do straight away. But uh, later on they will unlock as you do more and more upgrades and things. So you might want to do those first. You can also see these A's on these locations. If you just go to these villages... Later on, you might have assistance that will give you those bonus actions because you've played those cards. But the further you move, the more A's you get. You get special village actions, which at the start of the game are get a coin, discard all your cards for two coins, and buy a card. So I could do a load of those. I do want to get a card played. But I kind of think, what is uh, what is Puerto Plata's ability? Because it changes every game. In four doubloons, or two victory points per assistant you have on the board. Well, that wouldn't be great yet. But I think, why don't we start off in Santiago? So, you don't have to do the delivery, but you, know, you, you will make some money if you do. So the only tobacco I've got is a sailor. I will deliver it. But the sailor's ability is quite nice. It does. It tells you as well, as you highlight the cards, you can press this question mark, and it tells you exactly what every single card does as well, if you've forgotten any of the symbols on there. So, when you do combat in the game, it gives you a combat point. You don't necessarily have to spend in that combat, but just for initiating the combat, 
you earn an extra point. It would give you two money in income. So this green background here is income. Sometimes though, you see the, the two money on the right hand symbol. You only get that if you have a house synergy token and the synergy tokens, like say the Explorer card here, on the left of it, it would give you the, the tools synergy token, which would unlock things on other cards. Uh, for now, though, it's the only tobacco card I've got. I want to make use of going to this location, so I will deliver the card as a good. It's gone, and I can take one of the discs off my player board. So at the start of the game, what you can do is... Top left, get three points, and you can take cards from the display for free. For, at the start of the game, they cost one for every card face-up that you draw. You can draw from the deck for free, but you don't know what you're getting. And you might want particular cards for particular abilities, for particular resources, tools, and things like that. Uh, next one, your hand limit goes from four to six. Next one, uh, you can take more village actions for moving a shorter distance. You don't have to move as many spaces to get the th two and three actions. Uh, that's an extra combat action. We'll get to that when we do combat, but you can you can put cubes in more places than you otherwise would. Uh, that's just get five money. Just get three points on the bottom left. Uh, a new village action's unlocked, which gives you a combat point and a money. And then the other ones are all locked until you've done more things. So, you know, the six points isn't available until you've done the three points. The other village action isn't available until you've got that combat one. And the others come available as you do more of the unlocks themselves. So what would I like early on? Some money's always nice. I want to move a lot. I want to get quests and things because Gene competes with you on all of this stuff. I think I want to make it so I can draw cards for free or have a bigger hand limit, I think. I think draw the right cards for free is what I'm going to go for. So the action of Santiago, you see on the right hand side here, this is get a village action. So one of those three base things until you unlock more later and get an assistant. So you start the game, you can see down in the bottom left in my player area here, I've got one combat point, I've got two assistants, I've got eight coins and no points. Hopefully that will change. Uh, so I can get another assistant now into my supply available to be used for things. You can use them you know, like that card to put them out for actions. Uh, you can also use them for combat points and stuff. But I think my, my village action, let's get that card out. So I... Yeah, the one that I planned. And then that frees my planning up space if I want to use it for something else later. Yeah, let's buy that card. So... It gives me some points and things, but it puts an assistant. You can see out in location nine there in uh, Kumana. I have an assistant there, my purple meeple. So when I go there, instead of doing village actions, I can choose to, as my main action, have two money and move on the explorer track. We'll hopefully see that in a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, that's my whole thing. Draw back up to four. The cards aren't free yet, so I don't think I want to particularly draw one of those. They're all kind of expensive as well. Chase pirates costs five uh, combat points. Things we'll just we'll just draw from the deck. So Jean is the AI opponent, and she moves based on a card here. It does give you a little tutorial of all of this, but on uh, oh, I don't want I don't want your card to disappear, Jean. That's her player board. Uh, so the top of the card says how many spaces she's moving, and we'll just move the. If she'll move like a top or bottom path. And then it'll say some things she does. She she either takes a quest in this case, or she puts one of her discs out, makes a delivery if she can. If she can't make a delivery, she will take the card in the fourth position in the display. And then she might do some extra things. So these concern you know, getting influence in certain things. That's why she's got two influence now with Spain. We have three different countries that you can do combat for. Uh, so there's uh, France, Spain, and England. And so she's got a couple of points in that. She's put a cube out. If she couldn't put a cube out, she'd uh, get a village action. And if we have a quick look at her player board. So as she puts discs out, see she's put one brand disc out now. She will get more and more income at the end of every round. There's four rounds in a game. She gets five points every time she does a quest. She'll get points for doing combat. Every time she draws a card from the display, that's an extra income at the end of every round. And she will also get increasing amount of points for having more things than us at the end of the game. So more completed quests, more unlocked actions on her player board. Although, you know, she doesn't necessarily unlock actions and do things in the same way as us. But she will unlock those ticks as she gets those brown discs off her board. And also for getting further on the exploring track than me. Uh, so she can get like 10, 20, loads of bonus points for being uh, further ahead from, than me. Are they called... Uh, they're called figures, not assistants. Oh, right. 
Uh, right, so I can move one to seven. So I could go straight to my figure in Kumana now and take that action, start moving on the exploring track. I haven't particularly got anything that exciting to do. So Fuerto Plaza is nice for getting some money. Santo Domingo, get a combat point, get another disc off my board. And if I deliver a coin, uh, a corn, then that's two discs off my board. So that could be something to do. I haven't really got much money to do things with, though. If I go on the exploring track, how many spaces is it? Oh, don't do it yet. Uh, luckily, there is always an undo button. It does take you back your whole turn. It doesn't undo the last thing you did. It takes you back to the beginning of your turn, the undo button. Uh, so if I just press to see what this does, it's three spaces on the explorer track. So if we have a look at the explorer track, this is where we start. You can see my, uh, my figure there. Uh, I'll move th up to three spaces and then I would get the reward on that space. So I'd get a coin if I want to move as far as I can. And I kind of want to do that because that puts me three spaces away from the quest over there for the two telescopes. I would like two telescope cards before I got there. It's also worth moving as well because sometimes Jean hurries you through the round. You might not get very many actions. So I could just get a bit of money and do some exploring. And you want to be ahead as well. You want to cross over these, these uh, big lightsaber lines here. You want to cross over them first to get the most rewards. So I'm tempted, you know. It would be nice to get some combat points. It would be nice. It would be nice to do everything. But no, I'm going to go to my, my figure in Kumana. And so I can choose to just have three village actions here if I want. I don't have to take the action. Uh, but if I don't take the action, or I just sail straight past the space where my uh, my figure is, I get two points. But I'm going to take the action. I want some coins, and I'm going to choose to move the furthest, because then if I move another three later, it puts me on the quest space. Hi, Wilvon. Oh, you didn't know a, a digital version had come out. Yeah, it's uh, it's very recent. It's uh, just, just before Christmas it came out. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it when you have time to watch it. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, the unemployed ones are called figures, and then when you put them to work, they're called assistants. All right. Uh, so Gene's moving two spaces now lower. So a space to Gene is a place with a quest in it or a city. She doesn't care about the other spaces. She isn't limited to moving seven spaces. She might just move to the very end uh, at certain points, especially if you take a quest ahead of her. That's a potential space where she could have stopped that you've removed. So you might uh, be accelerating the game for yourself by doing that. So she's moved to uh, her deck, by the way, changes based on the difficulty that you're playing as well. So she moved to she tried to pick up a quest. She couldn't. She's in a city. So she put a disc down and she also got to put a bonus disc down. If this card comes out in rounds three or four, she also gets uh, four points. But that's all she did for now. And the game handles all of that stuff. My turn. So I can go to Maracaibo. You know, other players don't block these spaces, but Jean has delivered to Maracaibo. So I can still have the main action of doing a combat, but I can't deliver anything there. Nobody can until next round. So there's only one space. It's only uh, Santiago, the first space that's got uh, everyone can deliver there every round. So I could still start there if I really want to do combat. Cartagena gives you a village action for every compass you have. So the quest hunter card here, uh, you see in the red there, it gives you a compass. You do have a compass built into your player board. You can see down here, uh, that you've got one. I wish I had like... I'm sure I can do it somehow. I wish I could make the the iPad kind of light up. Have some kind of cursor where I'm pointed. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can see on my player board in the bottom left, there's one compass in there. So usually quests refer to the compasses. Uh, you get this reward for every compass that you have. Uh, the space in Cartagena gives you that. Uh, have I got any spy glasses? I have not at the moment. Oh, for the quest in Bluefields. I could do the quest. I could just stop off at the quest in Portobello, because the the exploring in Port Royal would give me two spaces forward, which is nice. It gets me over that line. It gives me a combat point, but it falls one short of the quest. And I'd like to do the quest if possible. I think we're going to have to say goodbye to the Bluefields quest. But I could just spend one combat point and do a quest. I would get a point. I would get five money. That seems pretty good to me. And I don't want to leave them all out for Jean. She might just skip past the quest as well. I think I'm going to do a quest. 
let's see how that works out. And this is a story quest, I think. Well, that's what that uh, scroll is on it. So you met your, your whole action is getting a quest, is completing a quest. Uh, so the cost is on the top, costs me a combat point. Uh, my only combat point, uh, but my reward is a point for every uh, compass that I've got and five coins. And that's it. That's the whole turn. End the turn. I wonder if I get to make a decision or something. I can't quite like it. It's been a while since we played that uh, solitary campaign game. So Jean's not moving very quickly at all, although she has gone on the upper path. So she skipped past those quests and she's right behind me on the Explorer track now. Uh, yeah, she moved two spaces. She put another disc out. And yeah, she you can see on her player board now, in the middle uh, line for abilities on her board, she's got two check marks now. She gets 10 points for being ahead of me. So I haven't unlocked any abilities yet because I've only gone to one city and taken one disc off. I do have nine money now. So my card situation hasn't changed. I do not have the cards to do this quest in Bluefields. So there's no point thinking about that. I could... If I trigger the end of the round, Jean will get the first turn of the next round. But I get three points. See the space in 21A there? Only the person who triggers the end of the round gets that. So it's tempting. Because she's just going to go there. No matter how much she moves, she only cares about quest spaces and cities. So she's going straight to the end next time. I could take two village actions, but there's, there's nothing particularly I want to get out. And you do get to do a build at the end of the round anyway. You get a choice of uh, buy a card or get two points. Hi, Steph. Jean does move quick. That like she she's This is uh, a little slow for Jean. Like sometimes, I've, I've noticed in the first round in particular, it's, it's just depends on the cards that she brings out and whether you've taken the quests and things. But often in my first uh, rounds, and it happened with the board game as well. It's not uh, down to this. She can like, she can zoom through the the Around if she if she draws a load of her two cards she can just zoom through the first time and as soon as a player gets to the twenty one a space there and gets those three points everyone else's boats get reset back to Havana and we start the second round so I think I'm just going to skip ahead again I would like I would like to explore go to that space get the combat point get ahead of Jean there see what I still get yeah I'd still get three influence. It's later on where I wouldn't get as much for being behind her. I think I do want to do some combat, don't I? What's my career card say? No, it doesn't want me... It wants me to unlock abilities and do exploring. So maybe I should just explore and move a couple more spaces. And I can get influence with people as we go along. I'm going to go to the end, definitely. The quest for next round is have two books, and I do have one. And I'll be able to, like, we can look at any time at the cards that you have. Like, I kind of want to get the quest hunter out. The downside of that is that's the symbol that I want. That 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 card's got the tool that I need. Uh, the harbour would be okay, but it's expensive. I'm not going to be able to build that for a long time. The embassy, so three points for every three influence you've got at the time that you build it is that immediately gain three points per nation you have at least three influence with so not a great card to buy either the quest hunter is the best one to buy it's just unfortunately also quite a nice one i could i could plan the harbor for later i'm just thinking move cards out of the way so that there's space to draw more cards increase the likelihood of getting those cards for the quest next time and i want spy glasses as well now, I'm going to plan that card. That's just separate to my turn. Do I want to do combat or explore? Well, explore is going to give me influence. Combat, I can't boost up with any combat points. I think I'm more tempted to just... Like, I might even skip past that Spyglasses quest and go and do the, the one afterwards, depending on how it goes. I think let's let's try and do some combat. Let's let's show it off at least. So the combat, you draw a combat tile in the the physical game, and it tells you the combat values of France, Spain, and England. So you can see France here has got a really high combat value, but it's going to cost me three money to fight for France. Uh, Spain, its combat value of four, 
but this particular tile had a thing on it saying the country that's got the most cubes out, which is Spain, has a minus two to their combat. So I'd only get two there. Choosing England, I only get two points, but I would get, I only get two combat points, but I get two actual points, two victory points as well. So I feel like I don't want to spend that money because I wouldn't be able to afford a card. So I feel like I want to fight for England. Because I would get I've only got two combat points, but I get two victory points as well. Not a great draw on that. So your combat actions here, you can do an action from each row. So at the top here, it tells you you've got combat points from the tile you just chose and the country that you just chose. Then you can spend your actual combat points and you can spend your figures as well as additional combat points. On the top row, it's just increase your influence. So move along this track for the country that you're fighting for. And as you get to the red banners, you'll get a multiplier for that country for the points at the end of the game. The bottom one here is putting your cubes out in uh, various locations. It's places with a flag. Uh, so four combat points just lets you put a cube out. Six points lets you take a cube off the board and put one out. Uh, so we can see that all of these spaces with flags on them. So Spain is already in one. Jean put one out there. Uh, they're the spaces that you're normally allowed to play, put things in. The action that you unlock lets you put cubes in villages instead. Uh, just so there's more space to have more cubes out. So later on, you know, if Jean's got loads of influence in Spain, and I've got loads in England, I, you know, it's in my interest to get rid of the Spain cubes and put England ones in their place. But I'm not going to have the combat points for that at the moment. I'm just going to move up influence in England, which gives me a tiny little bit of influence, but it will get me some points at the end. So the points you can see for the different countries down here, putting a cube out uncovers a point you can see for each of the countries and then every two more cubes that get put out add one to that score there's also a majority so the country that's got the most cubes out which at the moment is spain gets two bonus points second place one bonus point third place no bonus points so that's the points each country's worth and then you multiply that by how far you've got along the influence track as well so it can be quite lucrative and you get points for having the most influence of each country at the end of the game as well so I've done a, a not great combat there. Okay, oh, the Pioneer. Now it's the other book symbol that I want, but the Pioneer would help me when I take Explore actions. See that symbol in the red there? Plus one to my movement. So whatever's on the action that I'm getting, plus one more. I have to pay to draw that. Yeah, that's, that's better. I know it's the card that I want. It's Jean's turn, thank you. Uh, what are you doing, Jean? Moving one space. She's got no choice, really. She finished their turn. Uh, so she got an influence in France as well. And so we, we, we do the end now. So my turn is getting three points. Jean is going to get the first turn of the next round. I don't get to do anything else. Now, at the end of round, I can buy a card or I can gain two points. I think I would like to buy a card. Get that Pioneer out. Because also, the Pioneer will give me two money back if I build it now, just before income happens. I could have the Quest Hunter as well, but hopefully we'll get that out later. And hopefully I'll draw another card that's got a, a book on it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for that. So that's out. That's built. Draw back up. There are Spyglass cards out there. I think we're just going to have to cross our fingers on this. No, we did not get a card with our glasses on. So we produce. I got 10 money. Gene got 4 points. And that's our current standings. Gene not, ver not scored very much. But, you know, she, she's got influence early doors, so that might result in a load of points later on. The cards in the display get wiped. Prestige cards get revealed. So these are expensive cards that you can buy that will give you a crown synergy token that will unlock other abilities on other cards. But also will give you extra scoring criteria for the end of the game. Uh, so the story, Gloria thanks you for the help and agrees to accompany you and your crew. Gloria knows a doctor named Edward who might be able to fight the plague. Bring him healing herbs so he can begin to work on a cure. So that's the new quest that's gone out. Dr. Edward and Gloria have been added to the discard pile. They will appear in all future games. Okay. Well, welcome. So new quests going out. Jean's turn. She's moving two spaces lower. 
So she's in Santo Domingo. And she got an influence in England. Oh, she's muscling in on my tiny bit of influence. So it's tempting, you know. If I moved three now, I would get to that quest, but I want spyglass cards. I want herbs for the story quest. I want to get rid of my cards, basically. So do I want to deliver in Santiago? Because then I would get a disc out. I would get another assistant. I could clear out all of my cards and draw back up. And then drawing cards would be free. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's tempting to just skip to Martinique and get three village actions, but I don't think I'd be able to spend them that well. I'm going to go to Santiago. Oh, yes, I, do. I thought then. Have I even got a tobacco card? Yes, I have. I'm going to deliver that. Unlock my draw cards for free, and I get three points straight away. Take action. I am just going to... I've only got one action. I can afford to put a card out. Maybe I want the quest hunter out, actually. What's in the card display? There is one spyglass and one herb. So for herbs, could I just skip forward? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could just skip to Caracas next time and do that story quest. But I would like spyglasses. I would like to go to Kumana. Yeah, I think. What do you reckon? Clear out all of the cards? Just throw all of my cards away and get two money. I can plan the quest hunter, can't I? If I do want to buy that card later, I can plan it. To get better rewards from completing quests. So if I'm only drawing one card, I'm leaving it up to chance getting the spyglass or not. I think I'm going to clear out my cards. So I got rid of them for two money. Oh, did I want to keep that quest hunter? Let's undo. Santiago, deliver. You, yes. That's the thing I want. Take the action. First of all, let's plan the quest hunter. I want to keep the quest hunter around. And then I'm going to get rid of all of my cards and earn two money. And then draw back up to four. So the cards are free now. So I, I want the sailor. Sailor's got a spyglass. And then it's just going to have to be... They don't get refilled until the end. I could draw those herbs. I will draw the herbs if the one I draw from the deck is a spyglass. It's not. I think I'm just going to go from the deck. Oh, if this isn't a spyglass at all, I've ruined both, um, <laughs> both chances of doing a quest. It'll be okay. So Jean has skipped past that quest as well. That story quest has not been done. She's gone to Maracaibo. Okay then. So I do have a chance, you know, of going somewhere else first. See, I would move through. I would move four spaces. One, two, three, four. What well, that gets me like a coin, which isn't that exciting. It gets me some influence. Maybe that quest just stays out there. I think I do want to be moving forward. It's just a shame that I can't have that. That I'm going to be skipping past that spyglass quest. Because it gives you a combat action as well. I could go to Santo Domingo, but I won't get to deliver anything at all. I hope in... Oh, Raiders of North Sea on... Steam doesn't have the solo yet. Oh, right. I still need to... One day. I'll play all of these North Sea things. I'll be doing the... Tomorrow night, I'm doing the new um, Viscounts. One of the new Viscounts expansions. Which should be cool. I could stop before and get a combat point, or an actual point. But let's, let's move as far forward as possible and just get one money. Puts us close to the next quest... I can get an influence with someone. 
well, hasn't Spain got the most cubes out? Spain's got the most cubes out, so I think I'll have an influence in Spain. Hedge my bets a little bit. Oh, I get three. Yeah, I've really hedged my bets then. Yeah, let's stick with it. Jean's turn. What are you doing, Jean? Oh, she's moved two. So she's not necessarily ending the round, but she's going to the last space of the round next turn already. She's got another influence in Spain. She didn't complete a quest, but she's got another cube off. She's got eight, eight discs off. She's unlocked four abilities. She's got 20 points bonus for that. I need to start unlocking abilities and catch up. But how am I going to do that? She finished her turn. Okay, so I can't do that quest because I don't have two herbs. She's already been to Maracaibo. I don't have two books to do the quest in Santa Marta. Maybe I want to go to... I don't have two spyglasses, do I? Maybe I want to go to Cartagena. Deliver something there. And get a village action. Just to be delivering something, I guess. I do have another Pioneer card now that I could get out. Maybe I just want three village actions. And then next time do another explore. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get three village actions, I think. Let's just skip right forward. And put a card out. Let's do... The quest hunt is tempting. Well, actually, if I take moving, I get three movement. One, two, three can put me on that quest. So I don't need to move more right this second. But I would get a bonus two coins if I had an extra compass. So I will... Yeah, I will buy the quest hunter. And I think... I will... Oh, I've got multiple village actions, so I could build the Pioneer as well, and then take two points instead of build a card in a minute. Yeah. So build the Pioneer. And then... Do I care about those cards? The Sailor's nice, if I do a bit of combat. But not particularly. I want herbs, really, and try and do that story quest next time. Discard my hand for two coins. So, herbs, they're not particularly cards that I want. Let's see if we draw any from the deck first. In the first two. There's a herb. Governor, a very expensive card. Just... Let's take the patron... We haven't got any tobacco, though. Let's draw another one from the deck. That's not tobacco. We can get herbs on the way. Didn't draw any tobacco, unfortunately. Just thinking of going to Santiago, getting a couple more things out. So, Jean is jumping to that end space. Getting some more cubes out. She put another one for France out there. I think rather than combat, I am going to explore... And I... Oh no! By putting those two cards out, I haven't got an assistant, so now I can't take that quest. Oh, I've messed up there. I should have earned an extra coin instead. Oh, that's my fault. I can still go past this blue line and get the points first before Jean can uh, catch up. Or I could do combat instead and do some more movement when I've got another assistant. You know, go to Santiago. Although, I haven't got tobacco to make the delivery there. And I can't build a card. Oh dear. This is a shame. Although racing down here might not be that bad a thing. I should have thought about the assistance. You can do some combat, but I just wouldn't really get to boost it by very much. Let's just move. Oh, there's a solo deck for raiders. And an app you can buy. Oh, for the for the physical game, you can get the app. Gene gets an influence in England. And a card. 
and she gets the points. I can't afford a card, so I'll get two points. I should have waited to do the card. But then I wouldn't have had an assistant and wouldn't have been able to buy the card. Yeah. Probably just shouldn't have had that card at all. Right, so a new prestige card has been revealed. Gloria knows a doctor. Yeah, we know all that. It's because the, the next quest thing hasn't been done. So I get the first turn. I do not have any tobacco, so I would like another assistance. But it, that's going to have to wait, I think. We could just do exploring. It's five more spaces. Four, five. I could get two assistants in a space on the track there. But no, Santa Domingo first. I want to try and get discs off, don't I? Oh, thanks, Steph. Yeah, I'm forgetting. You know, your assistant lights up when you can do things. <gasps> oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Oh, like, I wouldn't have had the assistant, though. Um... Go back. I wouldn't have had the assistance. I wouldn't have been able to complete this goal until I'd gone past that blue line. But yes, so now you've achieved the thing. You can complete your goal now, or you can wait until you've gone past the third line and get four points as well. That's true of all of the things. You can do a little bit right away, or you can do more later. But I don't think I desperately need an assistant right now. I will go to Santa Domingo, though. But I, I can... Yeah. Thanks for reminding me, because you can cash in that career goal any time now you've achieved it. Uh, I think I'm never going to do the governor, but the governor's got a herb on him. So I think Ruin. We'll hand in Ruin. Uh, what do I want to go for ability-wise? How about... Bigger hand of card, more options. And then take an action, get a combat point, get another thing off. So I've got two abilities now. Jean has got four, though, so I'm still way behind her. Uh, and then draw cards back up. I've got six hand limit now, though. So I've got three cards in my hand right now. So I wanted... I don't think I'm too bothered about spyglasses anymore. That that Bluefields quest is still out there. So herbs, books, spyglasses would be good to have. I've got a spyglass. So another one. Master Builder, make all your cards cheaper. Why not? And then two of those books would be nice. The smuggle is one of them. Sailor doesn't help with that. Now let's just let's just draw. It's another herb card. Jean, where's she going? She's going too forward. Oh, she hadn't moved yet. Okay, so she's just at uh, Puerto Plaza. So she's done her turn. I'm tempted to go to the quest because that will be. If Jean moves two, she'll go past it. But if she moves one, she takes that quest from me. Or I can do my lovely five movement on here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't have maps. Maps is the next quest for my special action for doing more exploring that I've I should have thought about because I'm sure. Yeah, there was one map card. Oh, but I I got one randomly, didn't I? I might not have drawn that if I'd taken the one from the display. So maybe I should wait to move. And just do the quest. So let's do the quest. Let's do the story quest. I get two points for moving past my person as well. So governor, I'm never going to spend 20. And then the captain I kind of like. It's expensive, but it gets another disc off my board. I think that might be the thing to do. So I gain uh, two coins for every compass. I've got two compasses. And then two coins and an influence with a country. So for cubes that are out, let's see. Let's let's have a bit of influence with everyone, just so we can get some points, and leave it to Jean to. If I can keep up with Jean, I'll get the same points as her at least uh, for combat, because my career doesn't really care about having uh, combat done. So I want maps, don't I? Let's let's get that card ready, and then we can do some exploring. I don't think I will have five movement though. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, I need five to get to the quest, and I won't have that from any other space. Uh, oh, and I've still got more to draw. Let's see. Another compass is okay, but Woods Rogers. Uh, so you can only build him. He's got three white cubes at the top of his cost. You can only build him if uh, England has got three cubes out. Jen's moving two spaces. Don't like that. So she would have moved past the quest as well. She's going to Maracaibo. Oh, yeah, Maracaibo is number one. She's taking that quest. So I can go to Maracaibo now and do some combat. Get a disc out. I would get two village actions in Cartagena now, because I've got two compasses. 
I got the two spy glasses, those two blue fields. Maybe I should do that quest. Stay ahead on those. Two points and four money. So let's see. If Jean, if Jean draws the upper path, she won't go on that quest at all. And two quests. You know, I, I could I could get money and, a, and an assistance. I'm just thinking maybe I should put some of these cards out. Okay, I've got twenty four money right now. Into Port Royal, it would give me four movement, which is just short. So what about on the bottom path? One, two, three, four. It would get me two assistants. That wouldn't be too bad. And I could make a delivery. We want to keep up down there, but I'm so far ahead already that I don't necessarily need to keep up. I do for my, you know, my career, but I've done one of the things in my career. I want to go to one of the places and deliver. Let's go to Cartagena. Yeah, I've still got, I've still got the goods. It's delivering a, a map. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it because I want to keep hold of the captain. Oh no, Conquer Village, maybe. Yeah, we'll we'll get rid of that one. I want to keep hold of the captain because that gets me under the disc out. Uh, so delivering, I can get an upgrade. I don't necessarily need money right now. What about... Oh, different combat action, getting more cubes out. And then the action of the place is two village actions because I've got two compasses. Let's buy a card. So my synergy at the moment, I've got a tool synergy token. It's good that everything's like everything's at hand uh, to remind you of uh, the things, and they're lit up if you've got them. See on the harbor card here on the left, the tool token and its ability are lit up, whereas the other one's kind of greyed out because I haven't got that synergy token yet. The harbor would give me a synergy token. What about the sailor? Why couldn't I have this? Oh, because I haven't got an assistant. Master builder makes everything cheaper. Maybe just the captain. We will unlock more things later. Prestige buildings all need an assistance as well. Actually, I think I take that one off. I might undo this. I'm still going to go here and do all of the other things. So yeah, deliver conquer village card. If we're getting to unlock the thing straight away, maybe I should go for coins or a different village action, get me a combat point and a money. I think just getting some money, maybe. Yeah, if I'm going to get to do it straight away and then buy the captain card, move that other one. Now I've got some more money to do stuff with. So now I've got 16 money. I could still buy the harbour. And then, if next time we're just zooming to the end, I get the two points instead of putting a card out. I don't want to get rid of all my cards. I don't want to just get a money. The harbour is four money income, uh, four points income. Nothing needs a harbour token right now, though. Master Builder makes everything cheaper, but it's not as exciting. Two points for every assistant there, which would be two points. Let's get that harbour out. Maybe we'll use those uh, synergies later. And it's, it's more money, it's more points at the end of it. And then we could draw some more cards that will hopefully be better. Another Pioneer. We just rack up uh, the exploring movement because I, I do want to move loads. Merchant. A uh, Jean. She's moving two, so she's she's at the end. Hi, Jose. You getting ready to play the solo of the second edition of Great Western Trail? I, st I haven't been able to get a copy of that yet. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that's that's the. I know they tweaked a load of different uh, little things in it, but the solo mode is the the new draw for me. 
you first first again well the, the first edition was great so hopefully the the solo mode is but yeah Mar Maracaibo is uh, Maracaibo Digital is a great implementation of it so Jean's moving on up she's got a lot of points she's getting 18 points as income but she's not as far ahead of us on uh, unlocks anymore. So this is basically my last turn of this round. And it's round three, right? Hmm. So I could just get two village actions. She has skipped past here. Have I kept two spy glasses? No. Nope. So I can't do that quest. And I'm on the last place, so I'm just doing two village actions, basically, aren't I? Do I want to keep hold of a particular... Oh, I can... No, I can get to the the last space. So I'd get to move four spaces or do a combat. One, two, three, four. And get two assistants. That, that's not going to be a bad thing, is it? Forget the combat for now. Let's explore. Four spaces. Two assistants. And now I'll be able to buy some more cards next time. I think that's a good thing to do. But there's a lot of just looking to because Rather than it being like a Steam game where I'm just looking to the side of the camera. Uh, it's an iPad, so it's all the way down here. So there's a lot of me just looking down at stuff. So if I, if I could control it with the mouse. Oh, maybe I can connect a mouse to it. I don't know. Uh, right, so Jean. Yeah, she just moves forward and gets the three points. And I can buy a card, but I've got no money. So I'll gain two points. I get 14 coins and four points. Jean gets 19 points. And so, the standings at the moment, I have 14 coins and 36 points. Jean has 49 points. I need to keep trying to get discs out. So, the final, so the prestige cards. Oh, uh, you tell the Doctor about the plague, because I did the story quest, didn't I? Uh, he says, I must examine these corpses, but if you really want my help, you'll need to settle my debts with Diego the Lone Shark. So visit the Lone Shark or focus on fighting the plague. Well, I want to focus on fighting the plague, but... If we help the Doctor, what do you reckon? The Lone Shark will help the Doctor, then. Or we just focus on fighting the plague ourselves. What choice do you think I should make? Oh, hi, Andre, as well. Oh, you like the look of it? Great. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's really well done so far. Like, this is the first time I've been going through the, the campaign of it, but just through the the general uh, solo games that I've been playing. It's uh, it's great. It's it's Maracaibo for a start, but it's got everything laid out really nicely. Like, all of those... I don't think I can get out of this uh, decision at the moment, but, yeah, you want to see your synergies, your career card, all that. There's a little green light uh, reminding you of your career bonuses and stuff. It's, it's really, really nicely done. So, like... Yeah, I don't want to be tricked by the Doctor into just helping out his loans, but if that's going to really help him, I have got kind of a bit of money as well. Maybe that should be the thing that I do. Give that a go. See, Let's see what it does. Uh, you decide to visit the loan shark first. Edward thanks you and is relieved. All Diego cares about is doubloons and he never forgets who owes him money. So it's just another quest out that just wants two money. Uh, many of Portobello's inhabitants want to flee Puerto Cabezas, Cabezas to escape the plague. You have extra room on your ship, so you decide to bring as many people as you can. A special tile has been added to Puerto Cabezas, Cabezas on uh, Space 17. If you visit, you may remove a disc from your ship upgrades board and add it to this tile before your main action. And when it's filled with two, the story will continue. That's cool. Okay, then. So Space 17, That's that'll be towards the end of the game, then. Uh... Oh yes, thanks Joel. Yeah, uh, please like and comment and subscribe and follow us on the various platforms that you're watching us on. It all helps out. And if you'd like to help me keep going and uh, do as much as possible this year, patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. I know it's, I can't reach it behind the iPad, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, if you visit there, the link's in the description as well on YouTube at least. And uh, yeah, every little helps me doing this. Or you can uh, go to Kofi as well. It's like a tip jar and stuff. But yeah, thank you everyone for your support. Right, what am I doing? So Santa Domingo. I've got corn cards. Go to Martinique next time and spend the money. Santa Domingo. I want more discs out. I want to catch up on those, uh, those tasks. Now... 
I want maps, don't I, for this. Do not get rid of the maps. Make sure you've got two. I've got three maps anyway. The sailor I might want to get out, though. Woods Rogers. I'm delivering Woods Rogers. Uh, the, the story... Yeah, it's it's like it's it's adding a bit of flavor and stuff as well, but it's uh, it's changing the game. So uh, locations will like I don't know the the full specifics of it because I've only gone you know a, a couple of games into it ages ago, but you know more places the the places on the board are changing, more cities are being added rather than just the few that are out here to begin with, and uh, various events and things will happen based on what is going in the stories. Uh, how am I on quests? I have done two quests, which isn't very much, but I don't think... Oh, which ship upgrade do I want? Points is tempting. More village actions, maybe? It seems a bit late for that. I think just points. Uh, I have got two quests. Jean has done... I don't think it's showing me Jean's. Uh, take the action to the city, and then we'll put out that. There's my three points. Jean has done one, so we're okay on that. Uh, Draxus, yeah, it does. It's not like a, like a kind of a, a David Tortsey kind of uh, bot where it's simulating more what another player does. It's it's kind of it's simplifying it a lot. Like there's there's very little you need to know about what the bot does. It's very very quick to do the upkeep uh, for her in you know, the physical game, let alone seeing what she's doing here. But yeah, she's like. She's racing for things more, which like can totally be what other players can do. Like other players can just be rushing to the main locations and to the end of a round. But she does get, um, she gets to bend the rules and gets bonuses and stuff. But yeah, I find that often she does rush you through the round. Right, draw cards back up to six. What did I just do? Oh yeah, I delivered a corn, didn't I? That's why I need more cards. So England, the fleet, I do have... So England, the fleet would be seven points plus two more points of income. The other's not that exciting. I want maps. Do I want spyglasses for that? That quest is still out for spyglasses. I think let's let's have another spyglass card in our hand. Maybe quest, <laughs> the quest hunter will go out. Yeah, what you do in the campaign changes the board sometimes for the worse, yeah. Ooh. Uh, so Jean is moving on the explore track, but I think she's quite far behind me still. Yeah. Okay, I've done my Santa Domingo. So we can do a quest here. It's a couple of points. It's some combat. It's another assistant. Or do I just want to skip past that? Now, I don't want Jean to just pick up an easy quest, though. I'm going to do the quest. It's only two money. I've got quite a bit of money. It's just, it's a precious turn. You don't get very many with Jean about. She's only moving one space, which is good, but she's getting more and more influence. Like, the, on the on the plus side, she's getting a lot of influence here, but she isn't doing combat and putting cubes out. So, they aren't really doing a lot. Okay, so now... If I take my movements, it's five movements, so it's wasted a bit. One, two, it's only three movements of that quest. I could just skip past that quest, but that's getting two discs out as well. I can't skip past that. I'm going to get some movements with my assistance action. Boom. Not going to move the full amount. I'm going to hope to move a little bit later because I get to put some discs out. And I need two map cards. The Pioneer I might um, keep out. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not going to do those. Quest complete. And I get to take two discs off. And right here. Let's let's do this jack of all trades. So this is only something you can do after you've done like five unlocks, I think it is. I can either move three with my bonus two. Where would that put me? One, two, three, four, five. Three combat points. So I could try and do a big combat later. Going past the green lines first gets me four points. Also, then I would get my full thing from the career. I might as well claim these goals, by the way, because I've done the the fullest of them. I'm waiting on the the explore track one, though. Uh, it is medium difficulty. I think she's doing very well. I could just have four money, four points. That doesn't seem great. I could move up to the next banner on influence. Again, it's not that exciting. Like, 
times three on Spain at the moment, which is the, the best country, is three more points. It's not a lot, is it? I think the Explorer is better. Boom. Explore. We could stop short of the three combat points and just get four points for money. Or just four points. Four, five, six. Just then we're six spaces away from the end. And I don't think I would get there with one more. I'm going to take the three combat points because then I'm five from the end. If I put my Pioneer out first, I'll be able to get to the last track, which is ten points for getting there. And you get to do a village action there as well. Uh, draw cards back up. I've already got two spy glasses, so I don't have to worry about that quest too much. That's a combat point, and I'm at my max of eight. So I don't really mind which cards that I get. So that's put a cube out, and well, you get to move to the next noble rank, the next like banner on that place. The harbour. I've already got an anchor. Let's get England the fleet, and let's draw from the deck. See what we get. Chase pirates. I've got loads of combat now. Maybe as my last build, I just put that out for some income. Jean is whizzing past me. Wow, she really is. Uh, she's gone to Cartagena. So, I can do some nice combat now. I could stop off in Maracaibo and do that. It's just Jean now is there. If she takes a one, she'll get that quest. She'll still be behind me on quests, so I don't really have to worry about that. I've gone past the last line now, haven't I? Yeah. So I can get my career thing. You also get 2.2 coins for doing the bottom thing of your career. So. I could just go to Puerto Cabezas. And get another disc off my board. Have I caught up with that? Now she's got 6 actions unlocked. I've got 5. So I would still like to unlock something. Uh, yeah I, I need 2 discs to do that though. It's. Not that likely to do that, actually. Unless I get a card that lets me get discs out. So we really skip past the spaces here that would let me do that. Let's see, I wanted before the end, didn't I, to try... Get that Pioneer card out, and then that would give me the five spaces that I need to get to the end and get those ten points at the end of the Explore track. And stopping off here... Would let me get a disc off my board. Ooh. I think this is okay. Is it? Yeah, because I want that last explore action. And I could get some points for finishing the game as well. Yeah, let's just deliver a, a thing there. So I can't go for the 10 points. You need six unlocks already. Maybe, you know, if I manage to get another one somehow, I'll get that last. Oh, I've got, I've got loads of assistance and stuff. Maybe we'd build a prestige building. Yeah, I'm at the end of my track here. Four points for every line you got past. So that's like 12 points, isn't it? I'm past all the barriers. Uh, uh, for every ability you've unlocked, I've unlocked five, so that would be an extra 10 points. Uh, final scoring. So your, your production here, I, I aren't producing that much stuff, basically. If I was producing lows, you know, if you're producing 34 coins at the end of a round, you get 10 bonus points, that card would double it. And the last one, the military base, two points for every combat you did. I only did one combat. So the Abbey would be decent. Two points for being the first player to claim it as well. Uh, would the crown synergy matter? Yeah, I'd get two points for that as well. So that'd be four, 16 points for getting that card. It's 20 money though. There's Chase Pirates, three money, two points. But I definitely want the Pioneer first because I want that extra movement. Would I get a chance to do a quest? I, I could do this quest next time. If if Jean doesn't really rush ahead, I think even if she rushes ahead, I might be able to do it. Oh, wow, Monica, you played Explorers 120 times. Wow. So Explorers is in the lead. Right. I've still got two more village actions. I don't think I want to discard all of my cards for a couple of coins. With 18 money, though, I can't afford a prestige card. How much is the one that I want? 20. So I could just get money twice. It's a lot of points, isn't it? More points than any of this is going to amount to.
I think let's just get the money and then with my last build at the end I'm going to get that prestige cord. I don't think I particularly care about any of these cords. I'm just drawing cords because I don't, I don't need cords for that last quest. I just need combat. Just alright in it. So Jen's just moving one space. So she's taking that quest. So I've got a bit of breathing room there. I could. Basically, if you end the final round, you're going to get five points. Well, eight points technically, but Jean is going to go straight. If I leave that quest there, she won't go to the end. But I think I'm going to get that quest. Oh, that would have got me some coins, wouldn't it? See, she's behind me on quests, though, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Maybe I should just skip to the end and do my exploring now. My last five spaces. But if I got the Master Builder out, that would be another three points. But if she does stop off for that quest, I would get some more points, right? She's got a lot of discs out, but she hasn't really done much else. I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's worth stopping. I think I'm just gonna do my exploring. Get to the end. What am I gonna do with this action though? Because I haven't really got money to spend. Because I want 20 for my final build to do that prestige building. So I think in case it matters, let's uh, let's get two more coins. And then, let's just draw, <laughs> draw one by one, just some more cards. Here we go. Usually, you would be bothered about the cards that you're getting. But I've already got my money marked out. Jean's moving two spaces, so she is getting to the end as well. But she won't get the five points, because I came here first. Oh, she got another disc out. Uh, where do I see? Why are you showing me her play? Oh, that's my player board. That's why. Here's her player board. It's down here, isn't it? When it's her turn. So she she hasn't got that ahead of me again. She did get another four points. She's quite ahead, isn't she? And I've kind of already earned all of my points, I think. Oh, no, I'm ahead. I've got 73. My turn. Just, have I done my career? Yeah, I've done all of my career things. Just make sure you've got all of those. Done, you don't miss out. So Jean will get the three points as well. And her stuff, she gets more influence than that. And another card, but she won't get these five points. I'm the only one that gets those, because I ended it. So I want to buy a card at the end, and that's going to be the prestige card for exploring a lot, because I did a load of exploring. And... Uh, you originally played pay Diego what Dr. Edward owes, and the matter is resolved. Uh, Lone Shark Diego has been added to the discard pile. Yeah, so it's it's as well as you doing all that stuff on the board that we're talking about, it's adding more personality cards in there. Like you can just play as said at the start, you can play like a intermediate heavy setup that's got some of this stuff mixed in already. It does say like you know, uh, it, it spoils like the campaign chapters, but Yeah, so you can play it where it's just gradually Dealing the stuff out to you. Uh, the plague is spreading the Caribbean. And only Dr. Edward is working on a cure. Back in Portobello, the doctor examines the corpses of those who succumb to the disease. After a while, he smiles and says, I think I know a cure. However, pirates suddenly appear. So that's the new thing that's come out, but we're not going to have a chance to do any of that. Right now, anyway. The plague is worsened. Skull markers now appear at Portobello. Space 15 and 16. You cannot carry out village actions at spaces with skull markers. You may only fulfill quests or use assistance there. So it's done all the story stuff. Hi, is a uh, Thalios? Uh, Uprising, as far as I know, like it came out of Essence, so people got it there. But other than that, I haven't like seen it on any release list for here anyway. Like it's uh, Capstone Games, right? Uh, release it in the US, and I think they, you know, through Asmode distribute it over here as well. So like, I, d I don't feel like it will be very long. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That's got its, uh, yeah. As you say, uh, a better theme and a whole new campaign. As well as, I imagine, a ton of bits and bobs. 
I haven't looked into it that much because I can't get it yet. And there's a lot here that I can get. So final scoring, I think medium, I've managed it. We'll see though. Yeah, I, I, I can't see combat making that much of a difference to these scores in the end. Uh, so final scoring prestige buildings. I got 12 points because Jean doesn't get them. Uh, she got the most influence in all three countries, so she gets nine points. She's on 95. I got 10 points for practically doing nothing towards combat, but I did get some good influence. Uh, uh, Jean got 14, so she's on 109. Quests. <gasps> oh no, she's ahead, isn't she? She's going she's to get the 10 points I've lost. Oh, that's what you get for being cocky. I think she's going to win by six points. Oh no. So I can't even win medium. Easy or very easy was my level. So you can see uh, she she just built up having all of those cards. There was a couple of times as well, like that that time where I spent all of my assistance on cards and then went to go and do a quest and, oh, I haven't got any assistance for it anymore. Yeah, missing the timing of things like that doesn't help really. But yeah, <laughs> that's it's, it's not a strategy guide, but there you go. There, there's how to come close uh, to winning against Jean. She was rushing me. Uh, but now... You can, in future games, like, that game is saved now. And you can change the difficulty of Gene game by game. Uh, I don't think I would drop it down too easy for that. I think medium is my level. I did, just before I started the stream, I just lost a just a standard setup game against Gene on the hard difficulty. But, oh, the, the menu music's kicked back in. But yeah, that's 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 fairly close. That's quite close there, and yeah, yeah, really close, Genway. And you're absolutely right that, like, playing a game of this, like, it's taken me like an hour and like kind of talking through some of the bits that I've done. I know I didn't really do combat very much, and like, like, there's, there's going to be some, there's going to be something in the game probably that you're not doing very much of generally. Maybe you can do like a bit of everything. But, like some sometimes I'm doing loads of combat and not really going very far along the explore track at all. But um, yeah, like you, you can you can get through a game pretty quickly. I think yeah, I've only been doing it like an hour and sixteen. So let's it's lost my player color and everything. Mossy's just joined us, but there there is no cam today, unfortunately. Yes, I'll give it another go. So this will start the next game, right? I think it's starting uh, next one. Oh, you got Riverside and Welcome to the Moon. Amazing. It's going to be a pretty great uh, roll and right weekend. You can you can uh, you can watch the Riverside videos that I did and beat me. So yes, the pirates have just appeared. The plague has gotten worse, and those spaces have got skull markers on them now. So there's some locations we can't go to. And then everything else, the same as before. So, picking through cards. So my, my career, have a lot of different synergy tokens. Get some influence with two different nations. Maybe try wealth. Just so I'm not, you know, just exploring again. Try and go a, a, a different way. See some combat and things. And getting a load of synergy tokens out might be nice and different as well. So yeah, getting rid of three cards. Let's see. Although exploring still is decent, isn't it? I don't need two explorers. What about quests? What quests have we got out early on? Not for ages. Spy glasses, but they're, they're much later on. Master Builder's nice at just making everything else cheaper. Arbor's going to be good to have if I'm going to go for loads of different synergy tokens. I think I'm going to... I don't need two explorers. Amaro I would like to get, but I'm, I wouldn't be able to get him out for ages. And Mary Reed's the same. You need three cubes of a particular colour out. Plan a card. I think later on... Later on the harbour. That's going to give me a synergy token. I might need with my wealth career. Early on, let's get out... But I haven't left myself with a tobacco though for Santiago, so I guess we're going to Santo Domingo. At least that will that will unlock an ability straight away. 
Get rid of something with corn on it. Conquer Village will be good, but much later. Master Builder, maybe I will put out. So it's just a discount on everything else that you uh, that you build for the rest of the game. Uh, oh, Three Sisters has arrived. Oh, brilliant. So that must mean it's not too far off here again. I'm, I'm in a group place, so it'll be a, a couple of days after that. But yeah, really looking forward to Three Sisters. It looks like a great roll and write. Hi, Darren. Oh, yeah, found out you found me through Hadrian's Wall. Brilliant. Yes, I will be doing uh, definitely another chapter this month. I don't know if it'll be next week, but yeah, there'll, there'll definitely be at least a chapter a month. I'm going to stick to it. And hopefully, it'll keep going all right. Right, what am I going to start with? So drawing the cards for free was nice, but just having more cards in your hand would kind of solve that problem a bit, wouldn't it? So would having money early on. Get more cards out, start to get abilities. Because I am going to get to do two discs right now. I've done an ability... And then the, the city action is to put a disc out. So. I think, yeah, just, just having more cards to choose from. Take the action. Hand of six right at the start. That'll be all right. With well, the English Galleon, what is that? Gain two combat points whenever you choose to fight for England. Okay. Do I want to do a lot of fighting? Not particularly. I want to have good influence with two nations. Cartographer. Oh, is that a permanent map symbol? Great, like, for, for blue, the Bluefields quest down there, which I do want to do. I would only need to give up one card. That does cost me a coin, doesn't it, drawing that card? Yeah, I'll, I'll just go for free, but I, I like that ability. I'm just drawing three from the deck. Sailor will help me with some combat. Jean is moving two. And completing quest. She's not going to complete a quest because there's none up there, but... Hadrian's will still intimidate you a bit. I think, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a lot like to look at to begin with. There's loads and loads of um, just boxes, isn't there? As uh, Luke said in the thing, that like it looks like a great big spreadsheet. But like, loads of them like are grouped up in like that. It's all it's all part of like the wall or the the citizen track. Like loads of things work in the same way. And it is one of those where, by like first game, you're just doing things. Like it's it's at the end of it that you realize, oh, I should have been doing this the whole time. Ah, that's how this works with this. And I'm still not very good at like. I don't think I've ever used the temples in it, or at least not past really the first temple. Like, there is a fort later on that is going to force me to do it, I think, and get over that. So I don't have an assistant in Kumana anymore, which has been my go-to. So maybe we'll just skip uh, ahead to Maracaibo and do some combat there. I'll give up. I do have the Explorer card. I think let's, let's make a clean break, although the Explorer card does give me that uh, synergy token. So let's give up the Pioneer. Oh, the Pioneer's got a map. Conquer Village, it's not going to be ages till I can afford that. Uh, what would I like? I'd like to be able to get cards for free. Do some combat. Uh, Gene, yeah. Gene hurries you along. Like, it depends on the way the cards come out and stuff. And maybe on the harder difficulty, she gets even more movement. But, yeah, especially when you are just building up and you don't have any assistance or anything yet. And if she keeps drawing, like, two movements in that first round, she zooms through the, the round and you can't really do much about her. It does mean she's getting less done as well. So, like, in terms of competition with her, it doesn't matter as much. But it's not like, you know, with... Like, I remember when, when Rachel and I played two-player, you know, th there's a lot more stopping around at cities and doing village actions and stuff but you know equally if you were playing against a real player that was just zooming along and just doing a few things in the round the same thing would happen uh hi matt oh yeah you, you've been here yeah it's a really good implementation of it, i think like i did you know, uh hands up hand is that what i want to say hands up <laughs> I, I i got sent a code by uh spiral burst studios that have done the, the implementation. But I would have bought it anyway. And especially after playing it. It's great. 
Oh, Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. I've heard quite good things. Like, I, yeah, t Terraforming Mars, it was, it was fun. It's been a while now, hasn't it? It's been like four or five years since I played it and made a video on it. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to try out a, a mini Terraforming Mars. I do have Trails of Tukana, and I have an expansion for Trails of Tukana that at some point I'll be doing a playthrough of. There's a lot of at some point. Are you not a fan of Terraforming Mars, but uh, Ares Expedition strips out the stuff you don't care for? Oh, that's good. What don't what don't you like that's uh, been taken out? Hey, Heroic Logic. Maracaibo Digital. And you've, you've just tuned in in time for some combat. Who will I fight for? Let's see. I don't want to spend any money, so France. The, nobody's got any influence with anyone at the moment. Do I want to spend combat points? I want to get influence, don't I? This can get me some money as well. Ooh, yeah. Let's... I'm the first person to kind of do combat, so... That's going to give me four money there. And I will spend my combat points and get a bit more influence with France. There we go. I've started moving on. Uh, I am going to play Ark Nova soon, Jeremy. There is going to be... We're going to, we're going to sort out a day at the weekend. But at some point next week, Paul uh, Grogan of Gaming Rules is going to be uh, teaching me how to play Ark Nova. On, I believe on Tabletop Simulator. But yeah, there'll, there'll be a stream on our respective Patreons. Uh, so patrons will be able to watch that, but uh, yeah, there, there will be a normal stream like this of me actually playing Ark Nova in the very near future. Because unless something suddenly gets a spurt of votes, uh, the, the, the monthly Patreon playthrough vote has been going since like Tuesday, was it? And yeah, Ark Nova straight to the top. As, uh, although uh, Boone Lake... And uh, Obsession have got loads and loads of um, votes as well. Not as many as Ark Nova, but yes, Ark Nova coming very, very soon. Trails of Tukana expansion. The ferry. It's here waiting. Uh, the milestones and awards. Yeah, I, I, I really didn't like the the take that. It's it's just something that when we play Terraforming Mars, we just ignored those cards or ignored those abilities on the cards. And, uh, yeah, in general, I think I ended up playing it more solo and then wasn't, like, th that fussed about keeping it. But that was back in the day when I only had Terraforming Mars. That's all that was out for it. I know since then, it has been expanded <laughs> beyond belief uh, that I'm sure those expansions make it uh, even better than what I played. But, so what? maybe I should get that cartographer out and get that permanent map. I'm going to pay a coin and get that cartographer cartographer yeah I'm really, I'm really looking forward to Ark Nova he was waiting and now we've arranged this I'm kind of like well I won't play it because Paul, Paul's going to teach it me but uh, I'm excited Gina's finished she's at Maracaibo with me and she started exploring I haven't explored a bit yet so I could do some exploring at Cartagena I do have two spy glasses to go to Portobello and that is a story quest the only thing is, I don't have two map cards, but I could draw a map card maybe. Is there a map in the display? It would cost me money, but I could get a map card. I wouldn't need one. Oh, yeah. Because I wouldn't be able, if I go and do this quest first and then another quest straight after, I'm not going to have a village action to put that cartographer card out and get my permanent map. So maybe I shouldn't have bought that card. Let's go to Portobello. I'm going to do a story quest. And yes, it's going to be... Keep hold of that cartographer. Master Builder and the Sailor are going to be spent as items. I get some influence. I don't know if I want to go completely really deep into France yet. Because we don't know how it's going to go. I'll get an influence with... Uh... So I want, I want influence in two countries as well, don't I? Draw back up to six. So I want another map card, don't I? So let's draw one from the deck and see if I can save my money. No. Uh, then I will... I'll buy a map card. And Jean might, might go here. She's moving two. She's moving on the up, though. So she's doing this one. So Puerto uh, Cabezas is now a city where there is a quest every time that will be replenished, I believe. 
And Jean, did Jean do it? No, she put a, a cube out, didn't she? I guess she doesn't take city actions. She just does quests if they're lying around like this one is. So I don't have to do the Bluefields one, but I would like to because it's two discs. You know, that is like another ability straight away, isn't it? So I'm losing my Pioneer. Just get rid of all the cards that might tempt me to just go exploring again. I've gone questing quite early. So let's let's make drawing the cards free. And let's work towards Yeah, let's get some money. Uh, draw back up to six. So I could get if I get another spyglass, I can do that next quest, although Jean is about to end the round. I haven't really got much income as well. I've just got my starting eight income. Let's draw one from the deck. It'd be great later if I get a load of synergy tokens. I wonder if you get in another prototype. Yeah. That's more than well, aside from the the Viscount ones that I've got. Oh, there is something coming up in February. Yeah, I think uh, you might be overtaking me for January. Right, so Jean's gone to the end. So I can either go to the end now. I could get another quest button. Just make sure that she never catches me up on that. She's ahead of me on the explore track, which I don't want. I think I... I don't have any combat points. I've thrown away cards that would help me get combat points as well, haven't I? I think rather than just getting to explore from this end token, I'm going to go and do the quest here for those two points, for those two explore movements, because then you know, it's just another quest tile ahead, isn't it? I can't do the delivery, because Jean already did that. Take the action. Give up two spyglass cards. And I get to move two space as well. You do skip over other players. So it's getting me less money. But I, yeah, I will skip ahead. And then draw back up to six. Two combat points every time you fight for England. Maybe Pioneer I'm not that bothered about. Jean's already at the end. She's getting influence in places. She's got influence with France. I don't want to help Jean out. Maybe I'm going to have to go for England. So I should probably buy a card, because I don't think I've got a card out yet. Oh, I have... Uh, I could get a couple more money by completing my career goal. So what would I like? The explorer, maybe can just go for it in the end. The cartographer would give me the map. We're at the English Galleon. And we'll try and do some more combat next time. There we go. So... Draw back up to six. Any abilities I really want. The, the cards that keep coming out are really kind of encouraging me to do exploring. Oh, the aristocrat I like. I want more discs out. So we're neck and neck, nine to 11 points. Again, I apologize for just the constant looking down. It's just that this, this is on an iPad rather than my computer screen. Uh, so I did the story quest, didn't I? So the pirates descend on Dr. Edward and quickly subdue him, bringing him back to their ship. You are shocked to find that they are sailing under the Spanish flag and resolve to follow them. You begin to follow the pirate ship, but you'll need full sails to catch up. Meanwhile, you hear news of a major storm brewing near Port Royal. Four min. Oh, you need... Is that you need to have moved four spaces at minimum to complete that quest? Yeah, but what, what does the quest want me to do? I think that's what it means. You need to have moved four to it. At least. So, I have tobacco. I could go to Santiago. Do I have corn? I do have corn. It's giving up my aristocrat, but... In terms of just getting discs off my board, I think I'm going to go to Santo Domingo. Deliver corn. And then... So, so two more discs can come out. What about 
being able to take more village actions from not moving as far. But that would be better if, as a village action, I could get combat points. Yeah. Draw back up. Any abilities I'm really excited about. The Sailor gets you a combat point when you do combat. I don't really have any synergy tokens at the moment, though. That's what I'm going to take. Jean, just moving a little bit, getting more influence in France. She's just going to overtake me uh, with influence all the time. Uh, moving forward, then. So I don't have two book tokens. I could go to Maracaibo and do some combat. I could do the story quest, but I think it would be better... Let's stop off first and do some village actions. I'm going to put a card out that's going to help me do some more things with combat actions. And then, I could still afford to put the Explorer out, but I think that's a bit of a waste. Other cheap cards, the Master Builder. No, I'll save my money. I'll get a coin and a combat point. Draw cards up to end. Yeah, Woods Rogers would be good, but only if England gets three cubes out. That's the only way you can play his card. I'll just draw from the deck. It's an expensive harbour card. Yeah, a portrait from Norway. Uh, Jean has finished that turn. What's she done? She's moved to. So she's catching up with me. Oh, she stopped because there was a quest there, didn't she, that I couldn't do. I skipped past it. So she took the quest, which is five points for her. And she got an influence in England. Oh no, that's all. She got the quest, so she doesn't do anything in that bottom box. My turn. So I was going to Maracaibo now, wasn't I? I can't do that quest anyway. Because you have to move four to get to it. I will deliver a good. And get another disc off. Let's get that five money. And then let's do some combat. So I have to pay a money for England, but I want to do that, don't I? Because I've got the card that gives me bonus combat points. So I don't think I want to bother taking her cubes off yet. Getting an assistant would be nice. I can get two money, two points. I think getting an assistant. There's loads of times where I'm like, oh, I wish I had some assistance. And I think I'm going to spend three of my combat points and then spend five, my five remaining to get two influence with England. So three altogether because you get an influence for doing the annex action. So if we look at the influence track now, I've got times two on England. And I'm the only person that's, yeah, I'm the only person that's getting anything from England at the moment. I'm sure Jean will get that before the end of the game. And uh, yeah, England is still behind them. So draw back up to six cards that I want. Woods Rogers isn't going to come in. I'm not going to be able to purchase him until there are three England cubes out. Though. So I think just a, just a card from the deck. Jean just moving slowly. She's going to Maracaibo as well. She gets a card because she couldn't deliver. And she's ahead of me. On the explore track, I want to move three, really, and get that quest before her. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So, Port Royal's action. Discard, discard your hand for four coins, and then get a point for every combat you've done, which is two for me at the moment. Two explore isn't that exciting. I haven't got two map cards for the quest in Puerto Cabezas. So... What do I want to do? Do I just want to skip ahead? And... Take three village actions now, and next turn do combat and end the round? Or I could discard my hand at Port Royal, and then go to Puerto Cabezas next time, and try and do the quest there, and that would give me some movement. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, I'll do that. Because I can deliver to Port Royal, and this is getting discs off my player board as well. I've already got the village action where I can put cubes onto villages, and then I could get England to have its three things. Oh, great. Uh, so I need to draw back up to six cards. I will take Woods Rogers now, then. 
And I think I'll just have cards from the deck. See what we get, see what we can do. William Attia has also been at the event, and you've played games with him. Yeah, I think I think you should be streaming, Monica. I think we should swap places. I'll hang out gaming with a porter. Mind you, you would be playing Maracaibo Digital. It's not a bad place to be. I have drawn, haven't I? No, I haven't finished drawing. There we go. Jean is moving two spaces. Ah, oh, now she moves. She's following me. At least... So she's got some more influence in Spain, but it's, it means I can still go here and deliver. Giving up, yeah, give up the quest hunter and unlock that village action. And then I can give up my two map cards, which I didn't even try and draw them, did I? <laughs> I just accidentally got them from the deck because I wasn't paying attention. Phew. Uh, so I get to move twice on here. So I could just get... Oh, I don't have two map cards for this um, quest now, unfortunately. I do want to stop off and just get that disc off. But no, I think... I'm going to go I'm gonna go ahead of Jean because she gets 10 points if she's ahead of me. So I want to try and make sure she doesn't get ahead of me. I get influence with some... I get three influence with someone... Because I've just gone over that red line. So what I like. France is first at the moment. No, I think England. I've got that card bonus. Woods Rogers, all of that stuff. Draw cards back up to six. Let's just draw from the deck. There's nothing in particular that I want. Oh, an uh, action in Martinique that gets you two influence with France. Gloria, permanent book. Jean is going to the end first, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'll just miss out on the points, but I'll go first next time. Uh, Jean has finished their turn. She got some more cubes out. France has got four cubes out now. I need to do something about that. Either take those cubes off or get influence in France myself. I think two spaces exploring wouldn't really get me much. I think... Yeah, I, I, I did want to stop off and do a village action first, but yeah, we will we'll go for England again. Because I get three bonus combat. Oh yeah, I wanted Woods Rogers out, didn't I? So I've got four combat points. I'm tempted to use two of my own to get a... I think I need to do that. Let's use two of my combat points. So we've got six there. And let's get rid of one of Francis. And gave me some money while I'm at it. I've got six influence with England now. I don't... Th is it worth spending... I only need to be at four, don't I, for my career. What have I got on my career, actually? What can I unlock? Two money and an assistant. Oh, I've, I've done the whole thing, so I might as well unlock it. We'll, we'll hang on. I won't spend any more combat points here at the moment. I think that's good enough for now. So, yeah. France has only got three cubes out. And now... England as well. <laughs> I'm a mini celebrity in other people's stream. Yeah. If you pop up in everyone's streams. And you can reveal all these secrets about uh, prototypes and how Three Sisters is. Oh, so the, the French galleon, the equivalent of the England card that I've got. Jean's just drawn that. Gives her some income. I feel like I should buy a card. I've got 20 money here. So Spanish galleon. Help me when fighting for Spain. I've already got five, you know, prestige building wouldn't be that bad, and it would give me a synergy token. But no, Woods, Woods Rogers, let's uh, let's really get help with this combat. Draw cards back up to six. Is there something I particularly want? Mm, mercenary would give me a synergy token. Maybe I should take that and start thinking about that now. So Jean gets nine points as income. I get 12 money and two points. And then... Cars reset. We got here. Oh, for every... Is that for every person using combat? You begin to follow the pirate ship, but you'll need full sails to catch up. Meanwhile, you hear news of a major storm brewing near Port Royal. Right. So... 
I've got assistance. I've got some combat points. I could just skip ahead to that quest. But I feel like I... I kind of just want to... keep getting discs off my player board. See, Jean isn't ahead of me on anything at the moment. Jean's only got one ability unlocked. She has done some more combat this time, though. She will get more points from that. I need to keep doing combat to move her back. Or get influence in France, because France is, uh, is out the most. Hmm. There's no combat action anywhere near here. I could just do that quest and then next time go to Maracaibo and do a combat action. I've got four quests already. Santa Domingo does gives me a combat and it if I deliver a good, I do have a corn. What if I just got three village actions? Put some cards out. Let's go to... San Juan. Because that's the closest I can go and get two actions. I'm going to put out... Yeah, the French Commodore here. Because that's a synergy token that I'd like to have out. I want synergy tokens for my career. And an ability in eight, which we haven't gone past yet, get three combat points and two influence with France. So maybe don't need to worry about uh, getting France's cubes off if I can profit from them as well. It's a horrible way of putting it, but in gameplay terms. 16 money left. The mercenary's not as good now because... Gloria and get that book out. I think let's just get get another combat point. Draw back up to six. I want tokens now. They're not really those tokens. I think I'm just going to draw from the deck. There's a sailor. Cheap card, but costs a, a figure. Jean's coming up behind me, but she hasn't got that quest away from me. So I could take that quest. It is going to be... And she, Steam's ahead, though. Maybe let her have that quest. How many has she got? Three to my four. I'm going to get the quest. Then Jean can't have it. But if she gets two now, she's almost at the end. She's only moved one, so she's going to go to Maracaibo, right? I might not... St I'm going to go to Martinique and get that influence. So that is my career as well then. I could wait until I've got six in France and then get four points as well. But I could have the four points and a figure now. Jean, oh, she's moving too. Quest, Cartagena. I need to get moving. I need to go to Maracaibo or something. I don't have two maps for the quest at Puerto Cabezas. And she's already delivered to Maracaibo. So that's a bit of a downside to it. And Cartagena. I could do that quest. Because I would have moved so far to it. And it's an extra two points because I've done so many quests. It keeps me ahead of her. It doesn't really cost me anything. Other than the fact that I've had to spend a turn going there. I think combat. I've got so much stuff tied into combat. I should just skip the delivery and do it. Because I get... Six action points. Let's put... I've got eight stored up. So let's spend some getting France cubes off. And then... So that's going to give me one influence. I would like another influence, I think. I'd like another one still. No, let's leave that. Leave that as it is. End turn. 
Is Jean going to end this? No, she's going to stop at Puerto Cabezas. She isn't going to take that map. Well, I still don't have map cards. I can't do that quest now because I won't have moved four to get to it. Port Royal. Discard your hand for four, and I would get four points now because I've done four combats. I would get to deliver there. I do have a tobacco. Or I just skip to the end and do the combat. Or we'll do the exploration because she's kind of hot on my heels. Combat. Do combat. So I get plus two anyway. Spain's got the fewest out, so I could. But she's already got five influence with Spain. It's just it's going to get to a point with England where it's not worth doing anymore. So I definitely want to spend one. Oh, there are no free spaces, so you've got to annex if you want to put a cube out. Because I, there's a ability you can unlock where you get to put cubes out in villages instead of these flag spaces, but I haven't got that. So I think draw money or a point. Two money might be the difference between me getting a better card out. And so this is going to give me an influence. Practically at the top, I don't think I need to spend any more money. Just on straight up influence. And then what's Jean doing? She'll go to the end as well. She's moving two on explore, so she's ahead. So now I need to think about doing that. And she's just drawing another card for some more income. I haven't really got cards out that give me income, have I? I get my three points though for ending the round. And then I should buy a card. So synergies, we could do with an anchor. It's only give me two coins though. Is there something else that could give me some better income that I've got here? I mean, the, the sailor as well. Not really. The harbor's probably the best thing I can do. I might as well buy the one that I've kept back. It will be better later. Well, I say later. This is round three. Yeah, let's just buy it. It'll produce me a bit more stuff. A bit more money. And it will bounce off a load of other synergy tokens. So I probably want to try and discard my hand now. You been to follow... Yeah, we we haven't done the quest still. So Jean's just moving one space. She gets another influence in France. But yeah, it's, it's not going to get you much at a certain point. Their cubes keep getting taken off. And then for me... Have I got two herbs? I have got two herbs. But I would like to... I would like to go to Santo Domingo. Have I got a corn? Yes. I'm going to go to Santo Domingo. Deliver. I don't need that mercenary card. Because that's this is two things, isn't it, then? Ooh! Have I got two spy glasses? No. And I wouldn't get them anyway. Because uh, I can do... The one that's like three exploration all move to the next tier up in influence or get four points stroke four coins yeah that could be good at keeping me ahead but let's do that let's take the exploration and I'm just gonna move one oh no no <laughs> I don't know why I was individually pressing them oh, I've got to do the whole turn now uh, Santa Domingo Deliver you. That as a bonus. Take the action. That as a bonus. Three movements and move far along. I was going to tap one, two, three. Draw cards back up. And so synergy tokens. I've already got the metal one. So we'll just draw from the deck and hope for different synergy tokens because I haven't really helped myself out with this. Jean gets that quest. She's still behind me though on quest. Though she's equal. Need to watch out for that. I want to go... Well, do I do I want to go to the space uh, where France catches up? I probably want to do a village action. Put a cube out and get an influence. 
Imagine getting a six influence with France would have been nice. Now let's... Is there a card I want to buy out of any of these? The Sailor's got synergy with the Anchor. It's just, I don't need this many extra combat points. The Glorious two points for three coins. That's got to be worth it. And then discard the hand. And we will hope to draw cards that will give me some synergy tokens for my career. Although, it, does, it doesn't matter too much. Just a lot of like other stuff have... Uh, a lot of other cards that I've got would give benefits if I had other synergy tokens. You're known for your presence, Matt. Don't worry about that. No, I haven't really drawn any cards that help me. France, Laflop there. I do already have that. Do I already have that medal? Jean is moving too. Don't want her to move loads. She's t she's taken the story quest. Now she's ahead of me. So I need to worry about doing a quest. Puerto Cabezas. Have I got two map cards? I do have two map cards. Do I have two spy glasses? No, I don't. Hmm. What's the move here? I want another quest. I could just complete the goals. She's so ahead on points, I don't think I'm winning anything in this game. I will get some decent points for England, though. Compared to what... She will get. I think maybe do some combat in Maracaibo. And do a quest at that city, I think. Yeah, let's do a delivery. Maybe we'll be able to get that 10 points. Uh, fight for England, because I want to get two influence. It's not going to not be the most cubes, is it? I'm just going to get influence. So now I've got like time six to my things. The sand fleas of YouTube chats. I can call worse things. So she's gone to Puerto Bases, which is a shame because now I'm not going to be able to deliver there, but I'll still get to do the quest, which means I'll catch up on quests. So that's a 20 point swing. So I've got to do that. Next time she's going to end the game. And I probably... I probably don't want to do a combat. I probably want to... I'm not really bothered about exploring either. I haven't got the two spy glasses to do the quest for exploring. I think let's just go here. Skip the delivery. Oh, haven't, haven't I got the... Have I spent the map cards? Oh dear. Well, I need that. I need something, so I probably... Like, I could go exploring next time and go and get that quest, and that would give me an influence with someone. So I could discard all the cards. Is there spy glasses in the display? Yeah, there's one. Discard all the cards and get some money. 
put some more cubes out. Hmm. Or just, let's go to Cartagena, deliver. Yeah, this will work out right. Then that gives me 10 points. Take the action. I don't have the Spyglass cards yet. But I get the four points for moving across this line. Preacher, probably not going get, to get put up. Oh no! I needed a map card. Was there a map card in the display? There was. Is the Preacher a map card? Yes. That's a relief. So yeah, rather than do anything at the end... Is there a quest down here to get? Not two spaces away. So I think to counteract Jean's 10 points she's got from having more quests than me... Yeah, putting one more England cube out won't make it worth more points. We would need two more cubes out. So I'm just going to... I do have that ability now for putting cubes out in places. That's just five points. It's, it's a 20-point swing for doing another quest. Take the action. And it's two points as well for doing a quest when you've done so many quests. And I get two coins and two combat points. Not sure if they translate to things at the end. I think they do. Draw cards back up. And if there's anything I particularly want to buy at the end. Things that would give me synergy tokens, basically. I'm probably going to end up buying some kind of prestige card at the very end. And I could still... Yeah, Jean's going to get eight more points than me now because I've dawdled. But I can... Do a combat action now. And I could just get influence with someone. Or move to unexplore. Just get an influence. Would I get to the next tier with something? I could just get two more influence with France, so. Do combat. And I get two points for choosing France. So yeah. Fight for France. And I will just go for influence. And not put any cubes out. Just, and I'll get a few more points that Jean's entitled to. I won't get the three or the five points, though. Unfortunately for me. Oh, no, she caught France up. France is in the lead now. Oh, so that kind of cancels out my England gains. Should have annexed with England when I last did an action with them. Okay, she might win again. <laughs> so buy a card. We need to buy a prestige card that makes a difference. And, you know, cash in your career things as well. So I've gone past two explore things, so that's worth eight. Uh, I've done seven unlocks, so that's worth 14. What's this one? Uh, per left, Two points per leftover combat point and figure, which is eight. I should have saved some combat points, maybe. So that's worth 16. And then for every person you've got out. Oh, that would actually it'd be worth 14, wouldn't it? Because I would spend a person to get it out. Do I have any synergy with crown? Yeah, two points. Uh, it makes no difference then. Let's uh, the the academy. If we're going to build something, let's build the academy to become an admiral. Oh yeah, do you? Have I pressed it and not done that? <laughs> Thanks, Ian, but I think I've already messed it up. Uh, board the vessel. Can I still do it? I, I think I've missed out on it. What's that like? Two. Po I think it's only two points. I'm so far behind. I caught up a little bit. But I think, did I... Where's, like, your... View the board. Yeah, that's like nine more points, isn't it? And coins and stuff. Has it given me those now? Was my score 146 before? She got 30 points on quests. How? 
Oh, because she did six of them. Yeah. Not for being ahead of me. I thought it was just for being ahead of me. Uh, is the question mark your career card? Five, nine, eleven points. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, it's added them on, I think. So, I'm not sure if it added them on before I pressed all of those things. But it, it let you press them, at least. Uh, I wasn't just locked out of doing those. So, again, I lost by a marginal amount. Yeah, I'm Peter Weller, wandering into places, uh, not knowing what I'm getting myself in for. Hey, Gabriel. Um, yes, I think the app is good for someone who hasn't played it. It's it's obviously like, for me, it was refreshing me on the rules. I haven't played it for like a year or so. Whenever I did the playthrough, it's, it's about nine months or something since I've played Maracaibo. So, um, yeah, the, the how to play was, was a refresher for me. But yeah, I, th I think it was really nicely explained. Six. I did have to press it to get those points. Um, thanks, Daryl. Also, six points. Oh, is it? Was it six points in the first game as well? Maybe I need to just get back to easy. Maybe I shouldn't have completely neglected exploring for most of the game. But I, I can show you a bit. Like it's all. Oh, it it doesn't show you because it's all unlocked for me. So you you can go to the rules at any time. And you saw in the game there that like every card's got a little question mark on it for for it to tell you, you know, this is what these symbols mean. Uh, there is, there's, there's a tutorial mode, so like, when you first get the game, you, you don't have to do this. But, um... So this is kind of the end of the tutorial where it shows you, like, how endgame scoring works. But it, it, it basically, like, takes you through a game of it. And says, like, you know, on your turn, it's like, here's how this works. Try this. And, and it, it tells you what to do. And then it, um, Alexander plays against you, and it does that for you. Uh, so it's guiding you through the game, but it is showing you how every little bit of it works. Like, this bit's for combat, this bit's for this. It's it's not just, like, it's not just got the, the, the rule book section in it and expects you to do the rest of it. It will, like, guide you through a tutorial. And then when you play a game against Gene, the, the auto opponent, for the first time, it's like, here's how Gene works, by the way. If you do have to do the how to play first, though, if you just jump into a solo game... It will give you a quick tutorial on Gene, but it won't tell you about the rest of the game. You have to pick the, the how to play bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of imagining because I did already learn it last year. But yeah, I, th I think uh, this would have been a great tutorial. But there we go. There is two games, two campaign games. I don't think much, much campaign got done in that really because uh, we were dawdling. There was that quest, wasn't there, what, that wanted you to move a load of spaces and Gene just happened to keep skipping past it. And I didn't want to give up all of my things before it to, to do that. I think what what would have tipped that game is if rather than spending, you know, when I did that last combat action and I just got two influence with England, if instead I had done the annex action, put another England cube out, taken another France one off, England would definitely have won. And... I could have, so that would have given me one influence, and I could have spent two more combat points, or even assistance, to get the other action that would have given me the other influence. So I still would have been on time six. England would have won, and I think that would have been the six-point swing. I think that would have been more than the six points I needed, but hey, hindsight and all that, hey. Uh, Heroic Logic, yes, it is just on mobile for now. I don't know if they've got plans to, to port it to other things. I'm sure they've got dreams, but I'm not sure if there are like concrete plans to do it yet. It is on Android and iOS though, so that's why that's why if you watch back on the playthrough that my, my head's constantly down. Rather than looking at a screen on Steam, I'm I'm looking down at an iPad doing it. Uh but yeah, it's it's on both of those though. And it's on phones as well. Like it's it's as as with most of them, it's a bit nicer doing it on a, a bigger screen. But yeah, that is that is the Maracaibo Digital. I think it's a, a lovely implementation of it. Done very, very well of, yeah, a great game that I came a little bit late to. But, but hey, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, yes, I will be back same time tomorrow, 8 p.m., for some brand new hotness on Kickstarter next week on the 11th. Viscounts of the West Kingdom is getting two new expansions. I'm going to be playing the first of those expansions, the Gates of Gold. 
tomorrow a solo playthrough of it so you can see what's new and see me probably get demolished at Vikings as well because Vikings is, uh, can be quite hard uh, solo. Yeah, so I'll be back 8pm to do that. Join me for that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support and you can follow me in all the places, like the video and comment and all of that. Your support on uh, Patreon will be massively appreciated. Every little helps me do this more and more. Uh, thank you for everyone that supports me on there, including a lot of people that are in the chat. Thank you everyone for making it all happen. I will see you tomorrow night. For now, I am going to go and uh, yeah, lick my wounds and hopefully train up and we'll come back uh, to Maracaibo again bigger, better and stronger. Thanks everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.